Pet Talk this morning. It is Thursday. Amy's here with me this morning. We're talking about pet allergies, and this is really the time because you said just a moment ago we haven't seen a lot of rain lately, so there's a lot of dust in the air. A lot of dust in the air. We see a lot of trees flowering. <laughs> the flowers are coming out. My roses actually are starting to bloom. A lot of pollen in the air. Grass coming up. Right. So that affects our pets too. Now with people, we get the itchy eyes and mm -hmm. sneeze attacks and all that. Pets with allergies, especially the inhaled types of allergies, most of them, they're going to have skin problems. It's going to come out in their skin. They're going to have itch, itch, itch. So you may think it's fleas, but it's actually allergies. Right. Well, and fleas, fleas prompt another kind of allergy, but with pets, the allergic reaction takes place in the skin. So uh, it, it can be any number of allergies. It can be food allergies, inhaled allergies, uh, bug, bug bites, those kinds of things. And it all comes out in the skin. So it, it, it's really very important that when your pet is itching and biting mm -hmm. and scratching a lot, particularly if it's, if it's sudden, uh, that you do check with a veterinarian and get something done. Now, see, Sophie actually sneezes. I mean, she is a mm -hmm. constant sneezer. So is that possibly still allergies? Be. It possibly could be. Cats also can have some um, allergic rhinitis, some you know stuff with their nose mm -hmm. and with their eyes, those types of things. So don't don't discount it totally. But with pets, because they are such, uh, you know, they're moving dust mops, <laughs> these little guys. And so going through the house, they collect dust. They collect the allergens, the uh, uh, the allergens, of their fur. That, right? Because of their fur. So something you can do just at home as a home remedy is rinse them off. You know, rinse, rinse the little dog's paw pads when he comes in because they absorb it right through the pads of their uh -huh. feet and they can start itching from that. But if you do that, then they're going to smell like a wet dog. And a lot of uh, well, yes and no. You but there, like there's that. also doggy cologne. There's, and, you know, <laughs> and if you're going to rinse a cat, you might want to um, That'll just think about that the, a little uh, bit. Sneezing. Well, just a damp wash rag okay. will help a great deal. There are also some products that you can get that will help you know, spray on, wash off, some dry shampoos that can help. That also can help with people allergies mm -hmm. because if people are having a problem this type of year, this time of year, and the dog or the cat is also carrying extra dust, that can help reduce their, their sneeze threshold as well. Now, you know, Benadryl always helps. Can you give an animal Benadryl. I'm not a veterinarian, so I'm not going to tell you to do that. You can check with your veterinarian. Benadryl typically is safe for dogs and cats. Check with your vet about a proper dosage. Benadryl has a nice side effect for mm -hmm. dogs and cats that uh, it makes them sleepy. <laughs> and so sometimes the veterinarian may recommend that you give this uh, as a kind of a calming down type of thing. It's not good for long-term care. I okay. mean, if you're going, if you have an animal that has allergies to to dust to mold to uh, you know hay fever type things then there are some medications your veterinarian can prescribe you can even do skin tests on the dog or cat find out exactly what's going on with mm -hmm. them give them allergy shots just like people do and that uh, that can also reduce over the long term. That can be a little bit pricey, but it works very well. But before you do any of that, you need to check with your veterinarian. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, you know, there's food allergies as well. So if there's something that's, uh, that your dog or cat is eating that's causing problems with um, the um, inhaled allergy, the dogs will, will chew their feet because it affects their feet. They'll scratch their armpits. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, food allergies, oftentimes, it's facial itchiness. Right. So it depends on the part of the body. Flea, uh, flea dermatitis, the rear half of the pet, you know, really? right around, right around the tail. You know, you scratch here, and the dog goes, "Oh, yeah, yeah." yeah. That's there. where that's where it itches. So it, that can be a little bit diagnostic, but you do need to check, talk with your veterinarian about all of these. Well, Amy, thank you so much for helping us out with that because I know a lot of people are worried about their animals right now. So right, right. Main thing is check with your veterinarian. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a moment with more of Tom's forecast. Stay with us.